What's up guys and welcome to Bioshock 1. This game is freaking awesome and it is freaking buggy. Uh, if you clicked on this video to find some uh, tips to help you get this game up and running, there's timestamps below and also links to all the forum articles that help me uh, get the game going. Uh, I'm gonna go over a few things uh, just in the beginning here. This gameplay isn't spoilers, so don't worry about that. Uh, this is just from like the very beginning. Um, Anywho, uh, this game is a lot of fun. It's on the Steam sale, I believe, still right now. I'm sure it will come back around before the end of the winter sale, so highly, highly recommend it. Um, I had seen Infinite Gameplay, but I wanted to start from the beginning. I didn't want to be you know, lost uh, on kind of the background of the series, and uh, I'm really glad I did, did wait to play this game because it's really cool, and um, from the little bit of Infinite that I did see, uh, it makes a lot of sense where... All that stuff kind of got rooted and based in so um anywho i think that's about it for the intro like i said timestamps below articles below um if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments for anything specific but to be honest uh looking up the forum article is probably going to help you more than uh than i could unless it's just a quick quick tip about getting around your computer or something um anyway here we go. Alrighty guys, one of the biggest tips I can give you right when we uh, get started, sorry I just remembered this at the, the last minute, I'm glad I remembered it, but uh, is deleting the running.ini file because that's what resets your aspect ratio and all that crap after every crash you get and it's extremely frustrating. So how do we get there? We're going to spend a couple couple minutes in this folder during this tutorial where we're going to go to computer, local disk, users, my name's Tim, go to your name, uh, app data, roaming, I think the Bioshock folder is hidden, so go into uh, folder and options, view, uh, show hidden files, and then hit apply. Uh, and then we're going to go into your Bioshock folder. We're going to be modifying these folders later, but um, this running.ini file will be in here. Make sure you delete it before you go and mess with anything. Um, I actually just left this, this window open, so every time the game crashed, I could actually... Uh, but, yeah, you. Yeah, that uh, the game crashed a couple times on me today. So uh, just leave this folder open next to you when you're troubleshooting your game because you'll want to delete that running.ini file before you go and do anything else so it doesn't reset all of your aspect ratios and keep binding and all of that. So start with that. Alrighty, guys, this is the fix that helped me. So I'm going to go over it first. It's the compatibility mode. Um, it's kind of ironic what you have to set it to, but uh, it, well, honest to God, this is what fixed it for me. So how do we get to uh, to this a little bit? It's pretty simple. Sorry, this is in the wrong window. Uh, you're going to go to your games. You're going to go to your Steam library, wherever you uh, save your Steam games. Uh, go into Bioshock, Builds, Release, right-click on Bioshock, go to Properties, click on the Compatibility tab, and click this little box. As you can see, uh, you just have to set it to Windows 7 and it worked for me. So I've heard of other people having to set it to Vista and it worked. I'm not sure which one it is really doing the trick or if it just needs to have that box checked for some reason. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert on this. It's just what worked for me. Alrighty, in the second article, this is a tweet guide that has every tweak you could possibly want to do, I think, and the uh, the .ini file. I'm just going to go over a quick couple things in it, but uh, if you really want to know specifics, um, this is what you need to look at. Alrighty guys, uh, another thing you should always do if a uh, Steam game is giving you trouble, just try disabling the Steam uh, community in-game. This is also referred to as like the Steam overlay. Uh, and verify the integrity of the game cache. Make sure none of your files got screwed up somewhere and uh, Steam will go through them all and make sure they're all there um, so you can kind of rule that little bit out. Alrighty, one more thing that I completely forgot about. Uh, go into your properties, set launch options, and type in no intro. So if you keep crashing, you don't have to watch that stupid intro over and over again. You can skip it. Uh, also, I saw people saying that you can do uh, no sound and that's helped them, so uh, that's one more thing to try. Alrighty guys, now to modify our FOV and our refresh rate and all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to go in here, users, Tim, that's my name, hello, um, app data roaming, um, I 
think my roaming folder would, had like hidden files in it. So obviously, you know, if you don't know, I guess you wouldn't. Uh, you can go in here, then show hidden folders and files, and then we'll show everything in here. And I think you do have to be uh, admin on your PC, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, but um, go in here. This is the folder we're going to be modifying in the Bioshock folder. Uh, I would create a backup of both of these. As you can see, backup user, uh, all you have to do is just copy and paste it back into this folder and... Uh, then you will have a backup. The Bioshock one, I only modified one thing, so I didn't back it up. It wasn't that big of a deal. But the user one, we're going to be messing around in with quite a bit for the FOV. And uh, FOV is really weird in this game, how it, it'll reset when you ADS. So you have to set up a few extra commands. And mine is still doing some weird stuff. Um, so let me know in the comments if you have a complete fix to this. Um, but I'll get into that here in just a second. Or you can click the timestamp below. So refresh rate uh, is in the Bioshock, control F just to search it. And then desired refresh rate. So this will be your V-Sync in game. When you turn it on, it'll sync it to you. I have 144 hertz monitor, so it automatically syncs it to that. And uh, make sure, obviously, if you type in something new, you'll have to save that folder. So like I said, make a backup for the user. Then we'll go into the user folder here. And uh, I think I started editing my files on F, F7. So um, this, may, this may be a little bit weird, but I'm going to try to explain it best I can. Um, I think by default, F9 is load your quick save. Uh, I just took it out because by default, that's my DXTory record button. And I kept on loading, and yeah, I was stupid. I <laughs> got frustrated. Uh, so I just completely took that out and then um, I put a reset FOV there's normally nothing on F7 uh, reset FOV I read this in the forum a lot as well so um, you can always go back to default uh, F10 I said is 95 and F11 is 90 this is just so when you get in game you can toggle since there's no in game like slider and you can't just mess around with it rather than having to exit out the game open this file back up edit save it go back in the game you can just set up a few on your F keys to see, uh, maybe do like 85, 95, 100, 90, you know, whatever, and on three different keys. And that way you can find your FOV in game and not have to back out every time. So like I was saying, it does get a little weird whenever you are toggling ADS. It does like to reset your FOV. So a couple ways to combat that is set up an FOV um, command to your W key. So when you hit W, obviously, uh, putting a vertical bar will make it do uh, an AND command, so it will move forward and set your FOV uh, to 95 or whatever you decide. And a vertical bar is, instead of backslash, it's shift backslash. That's what a vertical bar is, if you don't know. Um, so you can set one there. And um, this zoom cycle, uh, again, just use Control F if you're looking for these commands. Zoom cycle and then do the same thing and that's basically ADS is what zoom cycle is so when you're aiming down sights and toggling it on and off it'll also toggle your your FOV um, back to 95 it's a little wonky uh, like I said and leave in the comments if you know a good way to fix this but this is just how I'm combating it at the time so anyway that's about it for that folder and uh, again make sure you save it and we'll keep moving We'll keep moving on to the end of the video. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out. Uh, I am tired and tired of looking at Bioshock for the night. Uh, if there's anything I miss, obviously leave it down below to help anybody else out that might stumble across this video. Uh, if you have any extra tips of how to bash heads in or anything like that, uh, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later.